In January 2016, we met up with the Arkimoto folks and they showed a prototype. Well, two years later, we're here at CES at Pepcom and uh, it looks like we have a production version. Why don't you tell us what we're looking at? This is actually our very first uh, signature series production vehicle and we put this on the road, delivered it to our very first customer at the end of November last year, so just about a month ago. Congratulations, a lot has changed since then. Uh, we saw a prototype a couple years ago, but now you're a publicly traded company, you have a factory? It's, a, it's, it's been a, a very busy two years, as you can imagine. So what, what you saw two years ago was kind of a, it looked very much like this, and since then, we've basically gone over every single part of the vehicle to make it manufacturable. Um, and then at the same time, you know, we built up our marketplace and we went public. We actually listed on NASDAQ uh, in September of last year. And that's what allowed us to actually go into a production space. And right now we're really working on building up the assembly line, building out the automated frame manufacturing uh, hardware, and then preparing for scale manufacture, which is going to come next year. Why don't you go through a quick summary of some of the features of this, how fast it goes, uh, you know, that sort of thing. Yeah, so, so the, the basic idea is to solve the daily driving problem. What people typically use a car to solve, we want to do that same job, get one or two people around town, uh, but do it in a way that's radically more efficient. So at the outset, uh, it's, it's pure electric, gets about the equivalent of 230 miles per gallon. Um, dual motor front wheel drive, it's about a quarter of the weight of a typical car. And because it's this small form vehicle, you can park three of them in one parking space. You get to use the HOV lane when you're driving by yourself. And you're just, you're just right in the middle of the driving experience. You can, you can sort of see the world around you. You can make the moves you wanna make. So in terms of, uh, of a driving experience, it's, a, it's at one point, you know, it's very stable, it's got a very low center of gravity, but it's incredibly fun to drive. And that's, that's ultimately why we named it the Fun Utility Vehicle. Well, and what's neat about it is it actually is a motorcycle handle you've got your hands on there. It is, it is. You know, and actually the first prototypes we built were all steering wheel and pedals. The reason we went to motorcycle controls, you know, it was, it was almost entirely to drive out weight, to make it a more efficient vehicle. What we found after we did that is that it actually makes it a really engaging ride experience. And it forces you to have your hands on the wheel. Yes, it, it makes it very hard to tweet when, uh, when your hand is on the throttle. Now, uh, weather. You know, if you're driving in Portland where you guys uh, are, I mean, uh, what do you do about the rain? Yeah, so, so up in Oregon, ironically, it's raining in Vegas now and it's sunny up in Oregon, but that's not how it usually happens. So. You'd be surprised. Even the base model, so just the windshield and the overhead fairing, keeps almost all the rain off of you. But like a Jeep or like an ATV, if you want to put doors on when it gets nasty out, you can. Uh, base model's got heated seats, heated hand grips, windshield wiper. So it's, it's definitely an all-weather vehicle. Um, and then, a, then with full enclosure, of course, it's it's uh, four season. It's really got a nice uh, uh, safety belt system there too. Yeah. So. Uh, it's, it's got a three-point harness that goes one way, and then a two-point that goes the other way. So it, it, it has the feel of a four-point harness. It's actually a, a safety model that BMW pioneered a couple decades ago for an enclosed motorcycle. Um, and it just, it, it, that three plus two configuration is a significant benefit. And that seat is actually attached to the frame. It is. So the, and, and that was one of the things that really helped us drop weight by moving to these controls, is that instead of shifting the driver around and having to have a separate structure within the seat, we actually fix the seat and then you can move the handlebars to the driver. So uh, the other interesting thing, neat thing about it is you've got all kinds of uh, displays and places for your phones and so forth. Right. Yeah, so, so and, and if you think about a normal car where you know, you've got your radio control somewhere over here and you're taking your eyes off the road, with this, your phone becomes your main infotainment device the screen is, is right below your field of view to show you how fast you're going. Um, and then the world really occupies your field of view. And so you just have an amazing amount of visibility of what's going on around you on the road. And that really helps when you're trying to maneuver in traffic because you can see exactly where your wheels are. You're right in the middle of the experience and you can just make the moves that you want to make. Plus you've got, you've got plenty of torque. You know, we're zero to 60 in seven and a half seconds. 
So it's very responsive. When, when you want to make a move, you can. So I know you've got a, a pretty big back order that you've got to fulfill, but what are we looking at? If I ordered one today, how long would it take to get it? So we're, we're shooting for about a year for pre-orders that come right now. Uh, we have almost uh, 2,000, well, 2,200 and change uh, on our current pre-order list, and some of those will deliver this year. The balance will deliver at the beginning of next year, and then once we're really geared up for full production next year, we want to be delivering you know, on the order of 10,000 vehicles a year. And it's, uh, how are you going to distribute it? We uh, distribute it with trucks. I, I meant as far as uh, the, your sales model, I should say. You, 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 you purchase the vehicle online, uh, and it's a very simple online order process, and then we deliver the vehicle directly to you. And so do you anticipate going through dealers or anything like that? Uh, you know, so, so one of the, the real keys for this, in order to deliver a product that is that is both a, a very capable daily electric vehicle that is also incredibly affordable, we have a very direct sales model. That makes a lot of sense, and that probably keeps the cost down. It's, it's, for, it's both for cost and then also for just the brand experience. You know, we want to make sure that, that you have a full Arcimoto brand experience from the point you click yes to the point that the vehicle shows up in your driveway. And then, of course, everybody wants to make sure that their vehicle can be serviced, and so we're going to have service partners in market wherever we go to market. Excellent. Well, I, I congratulate you on your progress and uh, good luck getting those 2,200 uh, units out. Well, thank you. Thank you. It's a good beginning. <laughs>